Be careful of mankind, Diana. back to Bangers Mash this week. We're looking at the 2017 DC superhero film, Wonder Woman. They do not deserve you. You've told me this story. Alright, so as you can see, it's just me, Mash. Bangers couldn't make it. So, uh, we're gonna fly a little solo on this. We're just gonna do a quick look at the 2017 superhero film, Wonder Woman directed by Patty Jenkins. Uh, if you don't know who she is, she did the movie Monster with Charlie Theron. Really good movie, I'd advise you to check that one out too. What is this place? Who are you people? We are the bridge to a greater understanding. Right. What is your mission? Well, here's the thing. You are in more danger than you think. All right, so the movie stars Gal Gadot. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right, uh, as Wonder Woman. She did a really good job. Uh, Chris Pine as uh, Steve Trevor. The boys in the trenches called her Dr. Poison. Millions would die. The war would never end. So the movie basically starts off. It uh, builds up Diana's Amazon character through her childhood. So starting off as a child and kind of working her way up to teen years and just, I don't know, her going from being a crappy Amazon to being the Amazon princess. I'm going, mother. If you choose to leave, you may never return. Who will I be if I stay? So one day during their training, um, a pilot basically comes smashing in on their island. And uh, they've never seen men before. So it's kind of like, oh my god, a man crashed on the island. Uh, basically, the Chris Pine teaches her, or I should say, uh, whatever his name is, Steve Trevor, teaches her of this war that's going on between man, um, World War II essentially, and there's all this gas and shit involved. She thinks that this is all being caused because of Ares, so she's gonna go stop World War II, I guess. You have to run. For the first time, she leaves the island, and uh, she obviously goes and joins with men for the first time to fight in World War II. This is a big deal because the Amazons obviously have not seen men and shit, so here she is leaving the island for the first time and joining men to fight. Uh, along the way, she steals like the, the lasso and the fucking shield and sword. and You know, you get a little glimpse of her powers. Really, the war's that way, but we gotta go this way first. How can a woman fight in this? Ooh. Who is this young woman? Uh, I really want to try and keep this spoiler free. So, I mean, we'll basically say that it's up to Diana to uh, discover her true powers as Wonder Woman and uh, the potential uh, to fulfill her destiny of uh, stopping Ares. Um, as we said, she believes Ares is responsible for World War II. Uh, she thinks this guy that's playing around with this even stronger version of mustard gas is Ares. So she's essentially set out to kill this one guy and thinks it will stop all of World War II. If you believe that this war should stop, help me stop it right now. So I guess when it comes down to it, what did I think about Wonder Woman? Uh, I guess definitely for sure I thought it was better than Batman vs Superman. I really <laughs> have personal vendetta against that one. It did get a 92% on Rotten Tomatoes and I felt that was way too generous for it. I mean it wasn't that great. Uh, it was good to see an iconic image such as Wonder Woman on camera though. I mean it's about time they made this movie. Uh, the acting was good in it. They they all did good job at acting. Uh, Chris Pine and uh, whatever her name is. I gotta look here. I'm a Chi Chi Gal Gadot. Hope I'm saying your name right. Uh, you did a good job acting. Um, the World War II thing was really cool. I like that. It felt good with the superheroes in it. Her just being all badass, running around through the trenches and shit. Like, I mean, come on, that's cool. Toss Nazis in anything and them getting killed. I mean, it makes for a good movie. Uh... Yeah, and then even the gas thing was actually kind of cool now that I think go back and think about it. I mean, I don't really want to ruin the movie with 
what they were doing with the gas, but I mean, uh, it gets pretty greasy and cool. What are you? You will soon find out. Um, there was some cons to it. I found they kept just jamming backstory after backstory. You start getting into the action, and boom, more backstory, and then, oh, let's... Let's go kill some people and kick some ass. Oh, backstory. Um, I don't know. Like I said, action starts more backstory. Action starts more backstory. Uh, there was a lot of explosions, and I find that these superhero movies are doing this now, where it's just blinking lights in your face and explosions and lots of colors and her lasso swinging around all CG and like it just ends up making it feel really like weak and almost like you're watching a video game more than a movie. And especially like where they're like laying on the ground, they do the kip up and they fucking, I don't know, somehow kick up off the ground and do like a flying kick from like a completely stationary position. It just makes it really, I don't know, cheesy. Yeah, the movie felt average at best. Like there was some points in the middle of it where I was like, this is really good. And then once again, backstory, and I kind of bring the whole pace of the movie down. So I think that was probably the biggest weak point on it. give it about a 6 out of 10. It was good. It wasn't above me on. It definitely wasn't a 92%. I don't know where they're getting that number from. Um, average at best. Isn't horrible. Just not great. I mean, I guess if you really respect the Wonder Woman character, this would probably be a great movie for you. If you're kind of like me, you don't really know much about Wonder Woman, it's, it's average at best. Anyways, this has been another Bangers and Mash, or at least, I guess, Mash at the Movies. Um, stay tuned. Check us out on YouTube, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Vidme. Uh, check out our gaming channel, Bangers and Mash Live. And until next time, I guess, fuck off.